Well, hello there and welcome back to a brand new video where today is a very exciting day because today, guys, we're talking about Rugby Challenge 4. Yes, we're actually talking about Rugby Challenge 4 and it's not a gameplay video, it's actually some news. Yes, there has been some developments over the guys over at True Blue, over the guys at Rugby Challenge 4 and we finally have some type of official release date for the physical copy of Rugby Challenge 4. As you guys are aware, aware, as you guys are aware, Rugby Challenge 4 is currently a digital only game, but there seems to be some developments that there will be a full version on a disc coming out very soon. It's only for a select few countries to begin with. We have some consoles and we also have some news about what to expect in the game and uh, some future patches as well as they're talking about a patch which is part of the full game. So when the full game comes out, there'll be a new patch to download. And I believe they've spoken about what's in the patch. So I might do a video tomorrow talking about the patch notes and, and what's going on. Because personally for me, I haven't played Rugby Challenge for probably for a good month now. Because it's been a, a very hectic time on the channel. Black Ops Cold War, the PS5, the Xbox Series X. It's been a crazy time, guys. With Rugby Challenge 4, I'm still undecided whether or not I continue my, uh, kind of like my Be A Pro, my Pro Series. Or do I, you know, go back to Rugby 20? I don't know. I mean, I'm getting a lot of comments on Rugby 20 asking me to make more videos over there but I'm also getting some comments on Rugby Challenge 4 like whether I will continue whether I will do something else so if you are watching this video and you guys want to see more Rugby Challenge 4 content specifically gameplay wise let me know in the comments down below in terms of what you guys want to see. Do you guys still want to see that type of like, type of like career pro mode where I'm playing as my character and we're trying to develop and see where we go? Personally, I would like to continue that a little bit more. Um, that was pretty fun. I probably will probably start simming matches just to, you know, get things going and uh, see when we get to the very end maybe. Uh, but let me know. I probably will be posting some Rugby 20 content soon. Like I said, I haven't posted any Rugby content for a while, but uh, I do want to get back into it. But anyway, I've been rambling on, just giving you guys a quick little update there. Uh, but today's video, like I said, is talking about Rugby Challenge 4 because the guys over at True Blue have posted something. Now, by the way, life has been busy. It's been really busy. Life has been busy. Everything has just been busy. And this post was actually on the 19th of November, which is less than a week ago. Or ba almost, actually it could be a week ago now actually. And uh, I should have done a video on day one, but just haven't had the chance. So I do apologize about that. But anyway, let's get straight to it. So Rugby Challenge 4 will come out, will come out, will come out. Rugby Challenge 4 will be available in Australia and New Zealand on December 3rd. So sometime next week for the PS4, Xbox One and December 10th for the Switch. So if you want a full physical, <laughs> can't even speak, a full physical copy for your PS4, Xbox One, or the Switch, the release date is December 3rd for the PS4 and Xbox One, and December 10th for the Nintendo Switch. So the retail version of Rugby Challenge 4 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will be releasing in Australia and New Zealand on the 3rd of December, with the Nintendo Switch version shortly arriving on the 10th of December. There are delays and other reasons, region, reasons? <laughs> <laughs> there are delays in other regions due to COVID and we'll have more news on those releases. And the PC version is coming very soon, which I guess is very exciting. So if you're in Europe, or basically, if you're not in Australia or New Zealand, you, you still got the digital version. So if you wanted the physical copy, no luck there. I imagine they'll probably release it in America soon and I guess UK, Europe and all that fun stuff. But what I've kind of gathered though, is the audience I get from Rugby Challenge videos are definitely... Australia, New Zealand, that side of the world. But Rugby 20 content is more European and American. So it's definitely interesting to see like the types of audiences uh, I receive and, you know, get from uh, the both types of rugby games. It kind of shows like which rugby game certain regions prefer. So it's pretty interesting. And probably hence why Rugby Challenge, True Blue themselves have kind of gone, well, you know, Australia, New Zealand's our biggest market. So let's try and get a physical copy over there. And I think True Blue is Australian, aren't they? Or New Zealand, one of the two. Kind of makes sense that they're doing it in their own region. They also mentioned that the digital versions for all consoles will get the update to the full game at the same time. So what's interesting here is the line update to the full game. So is the current version we're playing not the full game? I don't know. But we all knew that there was patches coming, so I imagine probably very similar to Rugby 18, if you remember. Rugby 18 came out, and um, essentially it was a full game, but it technically wasn't. And then um, they brought a massive patch, at, patch out. They brought a combat speak. 
the, the rugby <laughs> rugby 18 brought a massive patch out and basically transform the game completely so what we have here is a few changes you can expect to see so some of the updates you guys will see on december 3rd is they've added the waratahs waratahs that how you pronounce them team to super rugby they've added the scg stadium the ability to adjust star player stats support for up to eight consoles in online for ps4 and xbox one new zealand cup is now available in beer pro kits can now be uploaded to fan hub along with your team and numerous performance stability and gameplay improvements and i believe like i said earlier on they have actually announced finally the patch notes so i'll probably do a video in the next few days talking about the patch and uh, just going over it really and just you know see what see what it's like there we go i was somewhat of a quick video i was planning for it to be a little bit quicker but you know me i like to ramble on go on a bit of a, an agenda and all that fun stuff but no there we go guys what are your thoughts on this will you guys be picking up the physical copy if you are from australia or new zealand and uh, if you have the digital version like myself are you excited for a patch update? I am. I'm kind of curious to see what, what's new, what's changed, and, you know, what updates they have made. But no, there we go, guys. What are your thoughts about today's video? Please let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment over thoughts regarding this. But anyway, guys, have a wonderful day. And as always, in my next video, adios, chaps, boom.